All right, so my update. Okay, so I didn't make a video last week, and basically I probably shouldn't have made one today because I have no idea how much I weigh. I, my scale is all over the place. I have no idea what the heck is up with my scale. Um, I, my scale is like a couple years old. It's not super expensive, but it wasn't cheap. And it's one of those scales with a lithium battery, so it's working. It's not like it's not working. And it's giving me, like, all different numbers, like a three-pound range. And I don't understand what the problem is because, you know, you weigh yourself. And then, I mean, I think most people at least do it twice just to double-check. And the number's different. And so, like, I'll do it a couple of times, and it's, like, three, four different numbers. Like, in, like, a three-pound range. What the heck? And it's on, like, a flat surface. There's nothing under the scale. I weigh myself in the same place. What the heck? I even tried moving the scale to the kitchen. <laughs> that also has, like, a non-carpeted flat area. And I get a different number there. So does that mean I need a new scale? I mean, I guess I do. I just I just thought that like a scale with a lithium battery would last longer. I mean, like I'm confused, but I guess has that happened to anybody else? Like, is that a sign that I need a new scale? Probably so because I can't weigh myself, right? Yeah, Duh, I answer that myself. So yeah, I have no. But I will say all the numbers are less than what I weighed in my last weigh in. I just don't really know how much I weigh right now. And it's really frustrating me. It's because I'm really one of those people who weighs themselves every day. So it's super, 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 super frustrating and very, 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 very annoying. Yeah. So do you think I should get a new scale? I'm just wondering. Um, in other news, um, ah. An awesome non-scale victory. Okay, so you guys, most of people know, I've been on this weight loss journey since January of last year. So last year, um, I went to an amusement park for the first time in like four or five years. Last time I went to the amusement park, it was August of 2011. I had lost like 60 pounds, and I was feeling good about myself. I was so excited, and I get there. And I can ride everything except for two rides. And you can pretty much tell that those rides are, the seats are smaller because in front of the roller coaster, they have like sample seats that you can sit on. And if the light comes on, it means you can fit. If the light doesn't come on, you can't fit. So last year, two rides. I cannot fit on and I was a little disappointed but I was still excited because I was able to ride you know all the other rides so I go back this year and I was like oh my gosh I have I gotta try the seat right so I sit down and I like pull the bar back and I'm like oh my gosh I still can't fit and my sister's like no you fit the lights on so, um, yeah, the sun was shining down. I could, because the light is like a little light, little green light bulb thing. And from my angle, I couldn't see it. But it really, I, I fit. Oh, my God. And so, I didn't actually ride the ride at that time. Um, so, I then, we went throughout the rest of the park. I was, like, so excited. Oh, my gosh. I could fit. Like, I couldn't fit last year. I'm so excited. And um, I rode a lot of little, um, little kid rides because my niece was there and so I actually fit on the kid rides with her which is like surprising which is another non-scale victory um so anyway so we get back to the one ride that I could finally fit on and I decided to ride it this is the only adult ride I rode all day long it is the scariest ride in the world it's like advertised as like the like the biggest something ride in this part of the country or something yeah that ride scared the crap out of me <laughs> I screamed so much on that one ride I lost my voice for like three days yeah but 
I fit. <laughs> so, yeah. And, you know, when you um, ride something and you're, like, going down a hill or something, they take a picture of you on the ride, and then when you get off, there's, like, you can buy the picture. So, I get off the ride. I look at my picture. I look awful. Awful. Like, awful. Really, really bad. But I bought it anyway. Just because of the fact that, like, it's, like, such an important victory for me. I just, I feel so happy that I just, I'm so, yay. That's all I can say. And this is why I'm doing it. Because I can now do more stuff. I can ride go-karts on my birthday. I can go to music parks and ride rides. And it's, I'm so excited. So, yeah. Um... Oh, and last but not least, so last week, for the first time, I tried Zumba. Um, yeah, well, actually, I'll say this. I took, it was, it was a place near me was offering, like, a free week of classes, like, all week, any class. So, they offered, like, a 30-minute, like, hip-hop class and, like, a 30-minute Zumba class. So I worked out for an hour, and I did the hip hop and the Zumba, and um, it was it was fun. I thought I was gonna die, uh, but you know the funny thing about it is because you're in a room with other people, you don't want to stop. So if I was like doing like you know Xbox or something, trying to do the Zumba game, which I was thinking about getting, I would have stopped. I would not have kept going. So because I was around other people, I I was like killing myself, not literally, but you know. So, I was pretty much dying, but when it was all said and done, I was very, very happy I did it, and I was very excited. I did realize, however, that I do prefer, like, the hip-hop class to Zumba. I prefer the music, uh, I prefer hip-hop music over salsa music. They both were pretty cool. So, I, the place I went to for free, their classes do not generally fall in my schedule. So I found another place, and um, their classes are like $10 a piece or something, which is kind of expensive to me. So then I uh, logged on to uh, Groupon, and the, places, the place that I wanted to go and try, they're offering 12 classes for $25, which is a little over $2 a class. Uh, yes. Hello. So I bought a Groupon and um, I am going to take a class there. I looked up all their class. They offer like um, pole classes and like chair, sexy chair stuff and Zumba. Uh, yeah. And they offer like a hip hop class. So I'm going to take the hour hip hop class called Booty Beat. <laughs> So, I'm going to take that. Um, I'm going to um, aim for Mondays on that one. So, I am excited. I am going to... Oh, and I'm, okay. This is video is like getting way too long. One last thing. So, you guys know I like to walk. I really do like walking. I, I'm trying to get into the whole running thing. Well, I walk outside. And um, I was going to get... I was getting a little concerned because I'm like, okay, well, yeah... Um, the weather is going to change, and I'm not going to walk because, first of all, it's going to be cold. And also, the time change, I'm not going to be able to um, walk after work because it's going to be dark outside, and that's just really not safe. So, turns out, one of my friends, um, she is moving out of state, and she uh, was selling uh, like a lot, of a lot of exercise equipment. And I told her, I was like, yeah you know, can I come check out the, uh, treadmill you're selling, and, um, she was like, yeah, so I went, and I checked it out, and it's a freaking really nice, awesome treadmill, like, awesome, and so I told her I'd buy it, so I'm very excited, I'm getting a treadmill, and, um, it's so, it's a really nice treadmill, it has, like, um, it ha it's, like, has, like, I fit on it or something, uh, like, I think it's like you put like these discs in or something or like little thingies in it and it has like running programs and I'm really excited to have it 
because I don't want to stop walking um, because of the weather um, and because of the time change. And I think I might be more likely to continue to do it because, you know, it'll be like right over there. So hopefully, well, no, not hopefully. I'll be getting it one day this week. Um, so yay, I'm so excited. So I'm getting a treadmill. Uh, uh, so I'm getting, this is awesome. Like I'm getting a treadmill and I'm taking like hip hop classes. So bring it on. And it's, I'm excited about all of that. Like I'm not really one to be like, yeah, I love exercise. Like, no, I'm not that person, but I really like those things. And that's, that's my point. I'm trying to find things that I like that aren't like torture. <laughs> so yeah, that's pretty much it. So, um, I, guess I'll be buying a new scale <laughs> so I can actually have a weigh in because it's really annoying me so yeah so that's my update that's what's going on with me and uh, thanks for watching bye